As a matter of fact, we are crossing over to the UE Seismic Unit now, where we have on standby Dr. Ursula Joseph, a Seismic Director, as well as Dr. Joan Latchman, Seismologist. And uh, good morning, doctors. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so I know you are meant to head across to St. Vincent in a little bit. Can you give us an idea as to what the situation is from where you sit right now? Sure. Um, actually, a team, um, not, not myself and Dr. Latchman personally, but um, other SRC members of staff, they're scheduled to, um, to go to St. Vincent, um, of course, after COVID testing, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, uh, but when they get on ground, the idea is that they will deploy additional instrumentation to the north of the island in close vicinity of the volcano where we can detect, um, have better detection capability and be able to monitor um, more closely the seismic activity associated with the volcano. That's the first step. Right. Um, we, we're also hoping that we may be able to, to get into the crater um, to collect samples of the material um, that's being extruded, the fresh lava, yeah. and, that, and do any other types of um, measurements that we can do at the, in the crater to get some more information about things like how, how quickly the lava is, mm -hmm. is being extruded and the, grow, the dome is growing. I'm very curious when that's you really. say to, uh, to get into the crater, how exactly is that done? Um, hiking. Hikes, you know, it's it's uh, an hour to hour and a half up to the rim and then a descent by rope. Um, it's a fairly steep sided um, crater rim um, and the slopes of the, the rim is steep. So they would descend into the crater by rim and then walk to the dome and do what they need to do inside. So then um, can you tell me what is happening now, if it's possible, for persons to actually go to the crater, which is at the top, um, what is the threat as it stands now to the people of St. Vincent and perhaps the wider Caribbean? Okay, so I can start and then um, I can ask Dr. Latchman to interject if I miss anything. Mm -hmm. So um, what is happening is about two days ago, um, we started to see evidence of a dome growing in the crater of La Soufri and St. Vincent. And this means that fresh magma started to be extruded, um, or fresh lava started to be extruded on the floor of the crater, um, close to the area of the existing dome. So there is a dome that's there that was in place in a previous eruption. And one of the hazards, of course, and you can see there from the picture that you're showing, is that there is a gas, mostly steam, but there are other gases that are being released from the, the cooling um, magma. And that gas is, is hazardous um, to persons and their health. So that's one aspect. So there's a lot of uh, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and sometimes even chloride gases that are in there yeah. um, that can overwhelm people. And then they can um, essentially, you're of oxygen so you can then you know um, collapse yes yeah. so asphyxiation then the other potential is that while while the um the extrusion of the lava in the dome at the moment is what we call effusive meaning it's a very slow um, mm -hmm. ooze so to speak of mm -hmm. this molten material molten rock um, there is a possibility that there might be, um, you know, a more, I don't want to say violent, but uh, something more vigorous Volatile. and explosive. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Yes. And then um, being caught in that would, of course, mean um, put that danger to anyone visiting there. So we strongly advise that if you're not an official, you know, directly involved in the monitoring um, of the volcano, that you do not venture up on the system you know, on the, the, the well, volcano that, to view the crater. That, in fact, that's what came out yesterday on the news from the government of St. Vincent. Saint so Vincent. Dr. Lutchman, how vulnerable exactly are the people of St. Vincent and the wider Caribbean, given the history of the volcano, what is the projected uh, danger zone, so to speak? So we have a, a 
volcanic hazard map that would show the areas that are red, orange, and green. So if you would look at that map, mm -hmm. that, that would give a mm -hmm. distances um, from the crater that can be impacted by the lava, by the pyroclastic flows. In general, pyroclastic flows travel down the river valleys. The pyroclastic surges can rise up the hillsides and they can cause tremendous damage before we even get there. And, and so that, that people, because human beings are very curious and they would want to go up to the crater and this is strongly discouraged. We have Zoom tech, uh, drone technology now. Right. And so maybe you can use your drones to view, but certainly people should not put themselves at risk to climb yeah. that volcano. I have climbed that volcano in the past and it is a very hard climb. So it isn't like you're just going to escape from danger if there may be. Right. And an explosive eruption is not the only hazard that there can be. You can have a phreatic eruption mm -hmm. where rocks are hurled into the air as happened in on White Island recently, mm -hmm. and you can be damaged and even killed in what is effectively a minor eruption that would not extend any great distance from the volcano. Mm -hmm. So just pressing that point, so, residents uh, should mm -hmm. desist from climbing the volcano. So you know, when we hear of a volcano, we immediately think of lava, but from what you're saying, you have gases, you have rocks, so many other things that can happen and affect and impact the people within the vicinity of the volcano. Dr. Latchman. Yes, yes, you do. And uh, we have in, in Lake Neos in, in Cameroon, where you had a whole village killed by carbon dioxide gas coming off a volcano. Yeah. So volcanoes are not features that you should treat casually in the scheme of things. People in St. Vincent have had their experience with the volcano and they treat it with the greatest respect. Yeah. Younger people who were not around in 1979 may be more adventurous, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't. They should yeah. take the advice that is being given by Nemo and allow the scientists to do their job, allow the scientists to do the investigation and advise on what is going on at the volcano. Okay, well, Dr. Joseph and Dr. Lutchman, we're going to stay close to you. We are, in fact, going to be speaking with the director of NEMO in St. Vincent a little later on. But we want to thank you for joining us. And we're going to stay close to you to find out exactly what, as the situation unfolds, I'm speaking, I was speaking, in fact, with Dr. Uricilla Joseph, seismic director at UE, as well as Dr. Joan Lutchman, seismologist. I want to thank you very much. And we do have a video that came out of UE Seismic uh, Unit, which gives you a very interesting history about La Soufrière, the volcano in St. Vincent. Um, switch off and on the prompter here is, is a...